Hello everyone, welcome to Auricular Medicine, brought to you by Lamp Acu Wellness Foundation, Inc., as part of its continuing Lamp Lecture Series. Our topics, points of tragus and points of scaphoid fossa. The five points of the tragus are points that pertain to hormonal regulation. The tragus may be made up of one or two lobes. If there are two, they are created by an indentation between the lobes. Many patients have a small tragus and it may be difficult to see the indentation. Sometimes the patient only has one lobe. Hence, the practitioner must infer where an indentation would occur. The figure on the left shows a well-defined tragus. And the figure on the right shows one that is less defined and how to visualize where an indentation would fall. Some texts do not align points 21 to 23. The thirst point is at the center of superior portion of the tragus. The thirst point regulates thirst, whether excessive or insufficient, commonly used in weight loss protocols to reduce fluid consumption. The external nose point is located between thirst and hunger points in the center of the tragus. The external nose can treat problems on the exterior of the nose, treats acne, broken blood vessels of the nose, rhinitis. The hunger point at the lower lobe of the tragus, directly below the external nose point. Depending upon which acupuncture technique is used, hunger point can reduce or stimulate hunger. Hunger is traditionally used as part of weight loss or stop smoking protocols where there is a tendency to satisfy oral cravings by eating or smoking. The internal nose point is located midway between hunger and adrenal points on the lower portion of the tragus. The internal nose treats problems such as runny nose, stuffy nose, sinus pressure, maxillary sinusitis, polyps, bloody nose. The adrenal point is at the lower portion of the tragus close to its lateral border. The adrenal point is the major point for treating shock, pulselessness, asthma, hypotension, stress, infection, inflammation, trauma. The adrenal point regulates adrenal hormones and treats cough and shortness of breath due to adrenal insufficiency. It can be used for any disturbing sensation. Now let's locate the nine points of the scaphoid fossa. These are the points of the upper limb. The definition of these points begins with located in the scapha. Most are located in relation to each other, so it is necessary to know how to define each point. The scaphoid fossa is commonly called the scapha. The wrist point. Scapha, opposite tubercle of the helix. The wrist point treats wrist problems, arthritis, sprains, strains or breaks, contracture of the wrist, carpal tunnel syndrome. The finger point. Scapha in its uppermost portion. The points are an area versus a single point. Picture this area like the length of extended fingers. The finger point can be treated for spasm, contracture, swelling, arthritis of the fingers. Allergy point. Scapha midway between wrist and finger points. The allergy point is used for various allergies, such as respiratory or food allergies, multiple chemical sensitivities, or for patients with weakened immune systems. Some practitioners locate the allergy point on the underside of the ear apex. The shoulder point. 
Scapha level with the cruise of Helix. Some texts place this point at the level of the supratragic notch. The shoulder point is clinically effective point to treat shoulder problems. The shoulder point can be used to treat shoulder pain, tight shoulders, impaired shoulder mobility, frozen shoulder, rotator cuff disorders. Elbow point, scapha midway between wrist and shoulder points. The elbow point can treat elbow problems, golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, carpenter's elbow. Clavicle point, scapha level with the height of antitragus. Some sources place the clavicle point level with the notch above the antitragus. The clavicle point is used in treating broken clavicle, extra bone growth on the clavicle. The shoulder joint, scapha midway between shoulder and clavicle points. The shoulder joint can be used similarly to shoulder point, especially if the problem, like bursitis, synovitis, is more confined to the shoulder joint versus musculature of the shoulder, which is better treated with the shoulder point. The thyroid point, medial border of the scapha, parallel but slightly inferior to throat and teeth point. Thyroid point is excellent for regulating the thyroid gland as in cases of hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism. Nephritis point is below the clavicle point at the end of the lateral border of scapha. The nephritis point is used to treat inflammation of the kidneys. Thank you very much for your attention and hope to see you in our next videos.